Hi, Management 7340 students. This is Steve Wagner, your professor. And this is a quick video tour of the Blackboard shell that we're going to be using this semester. So this Blackboard site is where class is held. This is a completely online class. And I wanted you to get familiar of the basic areas so that you can go in and explore even more in the site and become comfortable to using all the different features that are available to us. And so when you log into Blackboard and you enter the course, you're going to start at this landing page and the announcements is where you land in this class. And I'll be posting announcements frequently throughout the class, uh, usually three or four each week. These announcements will also be sent to your email, but if you're coming to class, it's always good to, to review what announcements are there. Usually you'll be looking for the main menu, and right now I've got that kind of hidden, and sometimes when you start up it's hidden. You can see along the left-hand edge of the screen there is an arrow here, and we can click on that, and that reveals our main menu. And this is how you're going to navigate through most of the class. And you'll see that the menu is broken up into major sections. There's the general course information at the top. Then there's course activities, communications, and resources. And so we'll start at the top here and look at the general course information. And let's start with the orientation. This is something you should be exploring in this first week of class. You'll see when you come here, you'll have to scroll down to see all the different items that are involved. But I'll let you go through most of that. I want to highlight at the top here the course learning objectives. Now, these are also listed in the syllabus, but they're also really important to understand because I'll make reference to the learning objectives throughout the course. And the reason for this is that this course is designed with these learning objectives in mind. And so you'll see in different activities, in different assignments in class, I will make reference to the learning objectives that are relevant and so that you understand why are you doing this activity? Why are you doing this assignment? All of the course is designed to achieve the goals or the learning objectives that we have. And when I make a reference in the course to CLOs, I'm referring to course learning objectives. As we go down on general course information, of course, we can go back to that announcements page here. Um, there's also information about their, the instructor, that's me. And if we go here, you'll see that uh, information. And uh, of course, my name is here and my email address. That's one of the primary ways you'll be communicating with me. I do have my work phone listed here. Understand, please, that uh, I won't be in my office much this semester. Uh, I have all online classes. So the best way to contact me by phone is my cell phone. And I've also got that listed here under notes. And you can call me seven days a week. I do ask that you call after 9, 9 a.m., or before 9 p.m. And if you get my voicemail or if you happen to text me, please leave your name and the class that you're in and a brief summary of what your question or concern is. And I will strive to get back to you within uh, 24 hours. And uh, just a note in terms of emails, that's also you know, my goal is always to, to get back to you within 24 hours. So there's lots of ways to communicate with me. A third way that's, that's also described here is my office hours. And I have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays 
from 5 to 7 p.m. And those are held on Blackboard Collaborate. That's the video teleconferencing software. And I have a specific room set up for that. And you can come to the instructor tab. And if you click on this link that says Office Hours on Collaborate, that will take you to that room. There's also information here on how you can access it with your phone. Office hours are important. This is a class on compensation, and we're going to be dealing with you know, some areas of HR that you might be less familiar with. We'll be dealing with technology and uh, things like Excel. And there may be times when you need to follow up with me. Uh, maybe some of the uh, information is not clear enough for you. You need to hear it a different way. And I really encourage you to come to my office hours or set up an appointment when you're confused or uncertain or need just a little bit more support. It is not an inconvenience for you to contact me and interact with me. It's by design in this class that you will do that, but it's got to be something that you initiate. And uh, so uh, there are those office hours, or you can make an appointment. And of course, there's all those other ways that you can communicate with me. As we go on here, uh, you'll see there's also the uh, link to the syllabus and the schedule. And I've got those posted as both Word files and PDF files. I'm not going to go into detail on those in this video. I have another video posted in Module 1 that gives you highlights of the syllabus and the schedule. So please make sure to watch that. Now, if we go back to the main menu, you'll see the second section here is the course activities. And the main one that you're going to work through is the course modules. And the course modules, you can see, are posted uh, each week, okay, you don't get to access to everything at once. We're working through this class together. You can look at the schedule and see when each module is, is released and opened. Here we've got module one that is open, and uh, we can click on that. And when you do that, you will see that on the left-hand side, there's this table of contents. And this tells you every item that is in the course module. And they always start with an overview. And these include what we call module learning objectives, or, or MLOs. And these module learning objectives are objectives for this specific module. And you will see reference also to uh, module learning objectives, as well as course learning objectives throughout the elements of this course, so you understand why you're doing a particular activity or assignment. Now, as we go on, there's other things. Of course, as we click here, this is going to ask you to go through the course orientation, and this is going to ask you to go to the syllabus and the schedule. And of course, you can click here to, to launch those. As we look down our list and the table of contents, you'll see that there's various videos and uh, other activities here. That, that you can do, uh, and, and you should watch each of those videos and look at each item. It's, for example, here, this would be giving you the assignment for the reading and giving you access to the PowerPoint slides for those readings. I want to emphasize that the PowerPoint slides are not a substitute for reading the textbook. You should read the textbook and use those PowerPoint slides to take notes, to review, but don't just look at the PowerPoint slides and think that's the equivalent to reading the chapter. Um, here in this item, you can see an example of how I'm making reference to module learning objectives and course learning objectives. Again, these tie back to the objectives or goals that we have for learning in the course and in the specific module. Now, uh, towards the end of each of these modules, you'll see different assignments. Okay, so in module one, you've got a, a discussion assignment and you've got a quiz. And of course, you can access those through 
the modules, okay, through these links. Uh, it's important, again, that, that you do all of the activities so you're prepared for those assignments. Now, if we go back to our main menu by clicking here, you can see that there's another way to access assignments, okay? It's through this Assignments tab. And so let's say you've watched all the videos earlier in the module and you want to uh, just go back and go directly to the quiz. That's when you might use this Assignments tab. But again, I want to emphasize it's important that you do each link in the course module. So I encourage you to use the module to go through and do everything. There are also an area you'll see here for your discussion board group. Uh, when we do those discussion board assignments, we'll be doing them in small groups. And you can access that you know, through this assignment area, through the module, or you can go directly through this link to your discussion board group. The last area in the course activities are your grades. And I will always strive to have feedback on the assignments that you've submitted within one week of the deadline that's posted for that assignment. And many times in these assignments, I have a grading rubric that is uh, included in the syllabus, and it's also uh, accessible in the assignment, so you can be aware ahead of time of what the expectations are. And then in the grade, that rubric is also used, and so you can see specifically in what areas you might be losing points and need to change how you approach future assignments to improve your grade. And in addition to giving you feedback on the rubrics, I will also give you written feedback. And when I post those grades, I will make an announcement, and those announcements will be on the announcements page, but also sent out to your email. Now, uh, there's, as I said, there's many ways to communicate with me. We can go down to this communications tab, and email may be the main way that we communicate. I want you to understand that the if you send an email from Blackboard, it's just sending it to the GSU email. And it can only send out emails. You do not receive emails in Blackboard. Let's say you send me something from Blackboard and I respond to you. I'll be responding from my GSU email to your GSU email. So always look for my email responses in your GSU email. There are the uh, course questions discussion board. If you have a question that you think uh, would benefit uh, everybody to be aware of, that's a great place to ask that question. Now at the very bottom of the menu, we've got these resources and there are student resources here. And so if you're uh, new to Blackboard, or there are some new features that you're unfamiliar with. There are student tutorials here that can help you. And so this is a great place to review uh, during this first week or come back to if at any point you are confused. In addition to those student resources, uh, there is a link to the library and the writing center. And those also might be useful to you throughout the semester in different assignments that we have. And so I'm going to wrap it up. But before I do, I just want to emphasize how important it is that we communicate with one another throughout this course. And I don't have the opportunity to sit with you in class each week and be able to scan the room and see if there's any kind of confusion or apprehension and ask follow-up questions. And so I really uh, rely on you to take the initiative to contact me whenever you have a question about this course. And again, you can do that through email. You can contact me uh, on my phone. You can come to office hours. You can post on the course questions discussion board. But please ask me questions when you have them. I'm here to help. I want you to be successful in this class, and I look forward to working with you this semester. So take care, and I hope to talk with you soon. Bye now.